Welcome back to our Pyrex YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to profile your code. We're going to debug one of the bytes that was having slow performance and look at where exactly in the code that happens. So uh, let's dive straight in. The other day somebody submitted a byte uh, and it timed out on the platform. So I looked into it and effectively the test passed at 30 second mark. So this is the code, this is the byte. When I run PyTest, this will take a while. So I thought it would be useful to show two profiling or debugging performance issues techniques. So I put them in a decorator and I will put the source in the description below. We have timing and we have profile. Let's look at timing first. Timing is a decorator, it starts a timer runs the function, captures its results, marks the end timing, and then just prints the elapsed time. As there are two public functions in this byte, let's, um, let's first identify which function is actually slow. And I need to minus S because I need to actually show the standard output. Right off the bat, you already see that get PyCon speaker first names is very fast and it's the other function that's very slow. So having done that, let's uh, zoom in on the second function. I'm going to get rid of timing. And here on that second function, I'm going to use the other decorator, which is profile. Let's look at profile. It's also a decorator and it's going to use profile from the C profile module and run this, the passed in function in that with statement. After that's done, it's going to make a stats object That's from the pstats module. And I can show some statistics, um, specifically most time spent in general and functions taking most time. And this is all from the profile documentation. So we have this useful context manager and then further down, I literally pull those two one-liners out of the documentation this one and this one. So let's actually run that. So I use the decorator here and we're going to run it again. All right, it ran and let's look at the output. So right off the bat, I see that the get percentage is taking a long time, but that's the one, the original function. But then as a second entry with the same time is the detector. And that gives us a hint of where things go wrong. Same with the other output. Here it starts with codex, um, but we can look at the detector source code uh, if that makes sense. But already we see that it's probably an issue with detector. And indeed, um, as part of the constructor, we call the underscore parse method and it's doing something with codex. Let's go back to the source code. Now it might have been obvious without the profiling but the gender detector gets initialized in the for loop and that's probably a repetitive process because if we look at if we quickly put a breakpoint in there how many first names there are doing any intensive operation in a loop can get expensive very fast. and there are 112 first names. So that means that this operation is going to be done 112 times. So if we move this outside of the loop, I expect this to be faster. And it returns instantly. And here the number of calls are drastically lower and the time of course it's spent in, those, in that code. 
And here I put them side by side and funny enough, um, putting it outside of the loop in the good example, in a good performance, it's taking, it's one call outside of the for loop. And as we saw in the debugger, the sequence we looped through is 112 items. So that just makes the code 112 times slower. Again, this is a small code section. So uh, intuitively this could have been detected, but anyway, with the profiling, it becomes very evident where the most time is spent in your code. Hey, this is Bob again. Hope you enjoyed that video. To not miss any of our videos, hit the subscribe button below and you will get notified. Also, if you want to work with us, taking your Python to the next level, check out the PDM program below and see you in that next video.